Yeah, I know that the overwhelming theme here is a big loss as a team to TCU, and we've talked to a bunch of your teammates about that, but we need to go to the highlight of the game for BYU, which was your interception. So let, let's start there uh, and try and take something good from this. What happened on that play? What would you see, and, and how did you execute it? Uh, well, Coach Hill just called the play, and I did the technique within the rules of that play, and he threw it to my area, and I came down with it. And yeah, it was all just the the right alignment assignment and technique that I used wasn't nothing too special for me. I mean, I think the pick was special, but yeah, one-handed. I mean, we'll 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 call it special. Yeah. By the way, that response is like the coach's dream. Yeah. <laughs> Jay, this is a Jay Hill response, is it not? Yeah, no, nah, this, I, I, you know, I got, I give a lot of credit to him. He, he's the reason I be making plays. He put, he's, he puts those, uh, like he walks me through those plays in my head over and over again throughout the week, and um, like I could just visualize myself making those type of plays. And we, when we were um, earlier this um, fall camp, when we were going over, like cover four drops and stuff like that, like he was telling me I can get a pick if I punch him and then sink back inside and that's what I did and I got a pick. Hey, yeah. okay. stay within your your scheme and your technique. Uh, Eddie, we all kind of looked at that moment and thought, okay, BYU has typically taken these turnovers as momentum plays and to your team's credit, you've you've really pushed forward with that and you've won a lot of games that way. Yeah. Just like those momentum shifters. Why was BYU not to a- not able to capitalize on your turnover and, and get things going in the right direction today? Uh I have no idea. We um we just got to fix whatever mistakes we were making and uh, for next week. And, yeah, like I don't have an answer for that. I don't think Think uh, we left a lot of plays out there, I think, on both sides of the ball. I mean, as a defense, we gave up, I think, 41 points, and we don't want to do that. We, that's not what we do. Is there something that you can point at specifically that, that's bothering you today, like that you just didn't do well today against TCU's offense? Uh, One thing. The only thing that annoys me is just how, like, Coach Hill takes all the blame for when we get scored on and stuff. And I think us as players need to take it more. And I, I don't like that. Being that he's my guy, I, I hate that he takes credit for that. But I know we, like, the, the coach is always going to take the blame and the players should take the blame as well for yeah. not executing the call. I think he put us in a lot of good positions today. And... We didn't execute like how we thought we should have, but I think it's we just learning. I mean, it's just a, another learning opportunity, and we're going to bounce back, and maybe we needed this loss to get a big win later down the line. What did TCU do offensively that made it so difficult to defend against them today? Um, first, just being talented. They, they went fast. Going fast made it difficult. Just executing their plays, they did what they they were supposed to do. I bet um, their o- offensive coordinator is happy right now because whatever they practice, I feel like they executed that well. But um, yeah, like they they got a lot of good athletes though. That was that was one of the best receiving cores I ever played against, and the uh, deepest as well. So yeah, I, I give a lot of props to them. But we could beat them, and we <laughs> yeah. I think from a media standpoint. And frankly, speaking with a lot of BYU fans and just those observers, we all kind of anticipated that with a backup quarterback, they might rely more heavily on the run game, but they threw a lot today. Yeah. How were, how do you adjust to something like that when they're clearly trying to chuck it a ton? Uh, I mean, as a DB, I I, I prepared like he was going to throw the ball anyway, like, like he was going to be the starting quarterback. Um, I think they trusted in him, and... I think that's that's the kind of thing you don't want to do as an OC going into the game is like not show that you trust in that quarterback and you give him plays. I think they they did like simplify the playbook with him and gave him a lot of simple throws and easy reads. But I mean, he did good to me. He he capitalized. He he made all the right plays. Like you said, maybe you got to go through a tough lesson like this to get yourselves mentally right for a big win down the line. What's the key to processing through something like this when you lose big on the road, knowing that Texas Tech is a week away? Uh, The key is just learning from that mistake. I mean, everybody today probably made a mistake. Um, I know all the mistakes I made today when I watch them on film, I'm going to learn from them. And next week against Texas Tech, 
when I'm guarding receivers, I plan on not making those same mistakes and capitalizing on whatever they do that's, that we study for. This is big picture, Eddie Heckard. Hey, we appreciate the time and the insight. Always great to talk with you. Thank you. Thanks.